that's fine. I get that, but you're wrong and I hate you.
you better back off, girlfriend.
How the heck are you? How the heck are you? Good to see you. Uh, King, Corvina, Church and Wrangler, thank you guys so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are doing very well. Thank you, Wrangler. Glad to be back. Feels like I've been away for a, a very long time. I mean, I guess it has been. It's been over a week now. <laughs> uh, what's up, church? How you doing, man? Uh, I won't be streaming too long. I mainly just uh, wanted to get on because, you know, normally I would have streamed last night. But by the time we actually got home and got settled, and we didn't even, like, unpack or anything. We just <laughs> tried to relax for a little bit and then went to sleep because we were exhausted. But, uh, so I said, well, tonight I want to at least get on and, you know, say hi to everybody. <laughs> See how everybody's doing. Um, and just, like, hang out with you guys for a few. <clears throat> Not much. Well, sometimes that's good. Sometimes that's good. Uh, but, uh, yeah, man. We're back. We had a good time. Um, we left out, as you guys know, last Monday. And, uh, didn't get back until yesterday and by the time we got you know home from well we got picked up from uh charleston by crystal's brother and sister-in-law and uh they were a little late picking us up and then we went a couple different places to like shop and stuff because they wanted to spend time with us and then buy some stuff and whatnot Hey, Ethan, what's up, dude? How the heck are you, man? We want a 10-hour strum. I still owe you guys a 12-hour strum at some point when I can manage to pull it off. <laughs> Corina, thank you for the seven-month resub. It's go. Oh, my God, she's still singing. She's been singing that song for days and days and days we have some love in the chat for corvina's resub please if you don't mind
Because <clears throat> they played it at, at Mardi Gras on the ship, yeah. But yeah, so anyways, by the time we got home last night, it was it was late and we didn't didn't do anything. We like hung around, chilled out for a little bit, and then we went to sleep. So, Ethan, how the heck are you, buddy? Glad to see you, man. Glad to see you. Uh, seriously considering dropping 700 to finish a PC build? Do it. Just do it. We need an exclamation point, do it, in the chat. <clears throat> tell us all about the trip. I am going to tell you. So it's just it. Like, there it is. Just do it. Yeah, yeah. Just do it, man. <clears throat> yeah, it was amazing. So, um, basically, let's see. Monday, we left early. Not too early. What time did we leave the house? About 8.30? And, uh, stopped and had breakfast with Crystal's family. Then we got to the port, had to go through like this crazy, uh, parking maze. It was like a bunch of those concrete barriers and you had to go through this long, long line to get on. And then in the end, we got to the front and it's really different from Miami. It was, uh once you got through that you were literally right in front of the ship and there's just like a small building right in front of the ship that you actually go through and then they scan your bags and you have to walk through the metal detectors and you have to show all your documents and, and all that <sighs> the Corvina pot oh the cruise director Mary. yeah cruise director Brittany had to get selfies with Brittany but it paid off I'll show you my medal I got I got this medal look you see it? That was for my selfies with cruise director Brittany that I was trying to get. It's pretty cool, actually. They said that there was a grand prize that you could win, but I think they were lying about that. Because they took down everybody's names and left. I don't know. I kind of doubt it. <clears throat> But it's still cool. Should get into Fortnite. I like Fortnite. I just haven't played it too much. It is a fun game, though. Uh, he's a winner. It's better than being a wiener. <laughs> but, uh... So, yeah. So, we went through all that. Got our cards to get on the ship. Uh, which, the way the ship works is you get these cards that are the same size like a license. And... Yeah, they're over there somewhere. Um, but you get the card, and that basically that's your room key. You know, like a hotel key card. It's your room key, and that's how you pay for everything on the ship. Because the way they work is they don't accept cash for anything. Um, here we go. It's yours. I'll cover your name. You want to go where everybody knows your name. <laughs> But yeah, so it's like the it's like a card like this. This is crystals. But uh you swipe to pay for stuff and they can scan it to pay for stuff and then you stick it in your door to get in your room. So they give you that right away. Royal, what's up dude? I am back. I am back telling some stories. Telling some stories, man. How are you doing? I'll show you my medal cuz you missed it. I got a medal for taking selfies with our cruise director. It's a little carnival medal. That's right. Taking selfies paid off. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so they give you those cards, and then you actually get on the ship from there. You gotta walk up this really long ramp that goes to the, like, seventh floor of the ship where you get on. So we got on. We went to uh, the piano lounge because it was the only place we could find where we could sit and collect our thoughts for a few minutes because when you first get there you can check your bags and we checked two bags and then we carried on two bags because you never want to check like expensive stuff so like stuff like our tablets and you know our phone cords and all that kind of stuff we kept with us and then we checked our bags that just had clothes in them so we had to wait because your cabin generally isn't ready 
when you first get on unless you have like priority boarding. So normally your cabin's not ready until like 1.30. And we were on the ship by, what, like 12.30? So we were just trying to find a, a good place to sit for a minute. So we went to the little piano lounge and sat down and got something to drink and hung out for a bit until uh, our cabin was ready. We went down to our room, met our cabin steward, a nice gentleman by the name of Re. Well, his, his name was longer than that, but he said to call him Re. This is like Rian, Rianto or something. But he was very nice and uh, got acquainted with him. Uh, Randy was nice. She keeps calling, she keeps calling him Randy, Ralph, Roy. Poor guy. But uh, got to meet him, and he was going to be the one who was taking care of our room for the week. And then, what did we do after that? I think we started just kind of exploring the ship from there. Because we'd been on the ship before, but they had done some renovations to it. So we wanted to check out some of the new features and uh, just kind of get a feel for the ship again. Because it always takes you a while. Basically, it seems like by the time you actually learn your way around the ship is about the time <laughs> you're going home like we kept forgetting where everything was but uh i think then after that we went and got some food what did we get when we first went on did we get burgers the first day I think we got some guys burgers which is excellent those burgers were so good uh, that was one of the upgrades they made to our ship they added the guys burger joint which is, you know, Guy Fieri, the guy with the crazy blonde spiky hair that does all, like, the diners, dives, and whatever, drive-ins show and all that. But, yeah, was, the burgers were so good. The burgers were really good, and, yeah, they put so much cheese. They put, like, a stack of, like, that tall of cheese on the top. And it's super melty cheese, so it's really good. And they'll make it. They had, like, five different burgers. Um... But, like, each one, you know, they had, like, a plain one, and then they had one with your basics, like, lettuce, tomatoes, onions, pickles, and they had, um, one burger that was actually a bacon, and the, even the patty was bacon, but I didn't get a chance to try that, and then a couple others, but they'll make it for you, like, you can get a plain, and they have a whole bar just full of toppings, you know, like, bacon, and mushrooms, and all the vegetables, and, like, ketchup, and mustard, and all that, like, pretty much anything you could ever want on a burger, so you can just make it up yourself however you want it. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. You never eat, like, I eat this week, and my body hates me now, yeah. <clears throat> no, the pizza's good. The pizza was not as good a couple times we had it, because it's, like, they had it pre-made, which is abnormal i think they were anticipating getting a lot of people in but uh the time that she got it was fresh it was really good been to his place in nyc the burgers are amazing yeah the burgers are so good man we we had burgers a few times from there because it was really really good and uh so yeah so we got something to eat and then after that i think we pretty much just explore the ship because the first day there's not really a lot going on until like the evening time. I know we were like waiting for the sail. So the problem was it was so cold because when we went out of Miami, you know, it's always hot in Miami. It seems like no matter what time of year it is. But when we went, it was January and it was like 70, 80 degrees. And uh, leaving out of Charleston, it was like 30 degrees. <laughs> so we were freezing and didn't want to spend too much time outside and the wind and the cold. But, uh, yeah, so we just kind of explored and had some fun until dinner time. And the first dinner, we had our waiter, who at first we thought was a little just kind of eh, because he didn't really say much the first night. But we'll I'll, I'll get into that more. He was actually really cool. <clears throat> So I'm cold the entire week. Everyone walked around in blankets. Yeah, blankets and sweatshirts and hoodies, and everybody was. You could tell like the people who didn't pack for cold weather walking around in their shorts and t-shirts and Hawaiian shirts and stuff. But, uh, but yeah, so we went to dinner the first night, 
And let's see what I get. I think that was the night I got the brisket, wasn't it? That was really good. Got me some brisket. Crystal got a steak and some some like garlic french fries. I don't know. What did I have with mine? Oh, I had some bacon mac and cheese, which was really good. <clears throat> yeah, the same here. I, I took my one Zorvax hoodie because I thought I would only need it for like the first day and then it would be warm after that. And I was wrong. So I actually had to borrow a, a hoodie from Crystal too. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, it was it was my hoodie that I let her use because she didn't have anything that was like like warm and she wanted to have something. So I let her borrow it, but then I had to borrow it back <laughs> because I only took one hoodie and she had a couple like sweatshirts and sweaters of her own, but her sweaters weren't very, very warm anyway. So, but, uh, but yeah, so I was like wearing my Zorvax hoodie for most of the week. And, uh, so anyway, so we had dinner. That was good. And then after dinner, we went to the, the comedy show. No, actually, didn't we go to the Motown show first and then the comedy show? Uh, yeah. So, uh, we went to the Motown show, which is pretty cool. They do, like, a bunch of, uh, musical and dance numbers of, like, you know, old Motown songs, which is really... I think Crystal had some videos of it, but I don't have any of them to show you guys or anything. <laughs> we we're trying to get together and get all our, our vid videos and pictures together, but we haven't really had the time to do it. So she's just now like going through all of her pictures and videos and trying to get them on her computer and all that good stuff. I do have some pictures that I'll, I'll show you guys. Um, actually, I wonder if I can pull some of those up real quick. I don't per I don't personally have a lot, but let's see. Uh let's turn on monitor one. Alright, so I I don't have as many pictures as her, but uh I got a good picture of the ocean here. And these are obviously not in order either. I just kind of threw them all together. No. Uh, so this is the ocean. It's nice. It's very nice. Um, I s yeah, that's the master. This is my other one. But, uh, oh, we got some coffee. Got some coffees. Coffee was really good. Got some uh, iced coffee. Oh, right, here's some of the guy's burgers. Look at those burgers, man. They're so good. So good. And they give you fries with them, too. They're kind of chintzy with the fries most of the time. They actually gave us a decent amount here, but... One time they gave Crystal like five fries. <laughs> I was like, what the hell, man? I know it's free, but come on. Uh, I took a selfie. I took a selfie by the water. Because you got to do shit like that, right? But first, let me take a selfie. And then we've got water. That's some of my favorite parts of the, the trip. are just like hanging out and looking at the water. Hanging out. Because it's just, you never see water like that. Uh, how do I, there we go. Yeah, some more of the water. Some more of the water. Got a lot of pictures of, like, just water. <laughs> but, uh, so anyway, so yeah, so we had dinner. We went to the Motown show. That was fun. We went to the comedy show, and we met this guy, um, Doug Williams. He was the comedian. He was so, so fun. Let me see if I can pull up his his Twitter or something here. Uh, 
Uh, Tim, thanks, man. How are you doing? Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, this is the comedian. His name is Doug Williams. He was so funny, man. We watched. We actually went to two of his his shows. And actually, if you look on his page here, he retweeted Crystal. <laughs> so me and Zorvac saw Doug Williams on Section Eight Cruise. Seriously, the most funniest comedian we've ever seen in our lives. So if you get the chance, yeah. And she and he actually followed her back too. He didn't follow me back, but he followed Crystal back. Figures. But yeah, he was hilarious. He's been on. Yeah, Stars, Comedy Central, NBC, HBO, BET, and yeah, he's uh he was really funny. I'll tell you about some of his his stuff, but uh, doing good. That's good to hear, man. And you can see, yeah, okay. So like everybody's talking about the Section Eight crew because <laughs> that's what he referred to it as, because he was making the joke about. It was like the Walmart of cruising, which is actually something I had made a joke about early in the day to Crystal. So it was really funny. But uh, because it was a really cheap cruise compared to like, you know, some cruises are thousands and like three, four thousand dollars. And, you know, this one was a cheaper one because it's an older ship. But it's still a great ship and they've upgraded it and everything since. But uh, so we went to his show and that was really funny. He's great. Hey, what's up, Justin? How you doing, man? Um, but yeah, so that was good. We did that, and then I think after that, we just kind of hung out, explored the ship. Oh, we went to the casino, spent a few dollars on the penny slots. I went down to like three bucks from ten bucks, and then I got back up to like six bucks, and I decided to stop for the night because, well. No, that was the first night. I only got back up to six something. Huh. Welcome back, Wrangler. But, uh, so yes, yeah, so that was pretty much the first day of the trip. And the second day was just a day at sea. I think that was where all these other pictures came from. We were just like, Crystal's got some pictures she's going to try to to get up so I can see them. Um, I'll be able to hopefully pull those up. I'll have to see Uh, good. I was just an after work company function. I'm about to drive home. Ah, oh, I got you, man. I'm just hanging out for a little bit, short stream to to say hi to everybody and talk about the trip and stuff. But yeah, so that's where all these pictures came from. We were out at sea. You can see no land anywhere. That's some of the coolest times for me. Is just like being out. It's such a surreal feeling being out and seeing nothing but water everywhere. Uh. I seen that whole nine dollars you won, yeah, buddy. Hey, and I paid that for it. I gave that nine dollars to our waiter because he was awesome, and he deserved it. And he made us feel bad because he said nobody ever sends him mail. <laughs> but we'll get to that later. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it is, man. But uh, so yeah, so the second day we were out at sea, and we spent our day. Pretty much hanging out on the deck, taking pictures, just relaxing, having a good time together, and you know, checking out some of the different activities they have on the ship. Because I always have stuff going on pretty much from like eight in the morning all the way through midnight. Yeah, I'm not going to the Fab Abs class at seven a.m. They can keep that. I want to send our waiter mail, but I don't know his name. Yeah, I can't remember what his name was. It was it like Oxar or something like that. He was, uh, I don't know exactly where he was from, but I'm thinking he was like Eastern European or something. Russian, maybe? I don't know. But he was really nice. Uh, driving home and listening in? All right, man. You can listen in to the, it's, it'll be like a radio show. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, so lots of pictures out at sea. Which, as I was saying, is a really cool feeling just seeing nothing but the water. It's it's an experience that I enjoyed a lot on the last trip, too. It's very relaxing. Something about the sound of the ocean and just kind of like laying out in the sun, or in this case, in the clouds, because it wasn't very sunny. But, uh, ordered the last of your PC parts. Nice, man. Congrats, dude. You'll have to, uh take pictures when you like build it 
and put it together and stuff. But, uh, yeah, so we were doing a lot of the different activities they had, like, they had, like, trivia and, uh, bingo and other stuff going on. Yeah, we didn't do no bingo because you had to pay for that, but we, like, sat in on some bingo while we were waiting on another show to start. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why your your pictures won't show up. That's weird. But uh, the first day at sea, which is your second second day on the cruise, um, is elegant night for dinner, which means you got to dress nicely. You don't have to dress up or anything, but they ask that you wear, like, nice clothes. So I just wore like a button down blue shirt and some nice khaki pants to dinner. And Crystal had a nice outfit, like a skirt and a sweater and stuff. Huh? You got ribs in your hair. <laughs> yeah, she had uh, ribs. She said were really good. They were like fall off the bone ribs. It's the way it should be. And I had the... I had prime rib, that's right, because I had prime rib twice. I had prime rib, and afterward he said they were going to have prime rib again. I was like, hell yeah, but prime rib's awesome. I don't know if I have a picture of my prime I have a picture of my prime rib from the last night. That was my prime rib from the Yeah, I think I posted pictures on like Twitter and stuff, because Crystal took some for me. Can't go wrong with prime rib. But anyway, so... So yeah, so we went to dinner, had nice dinner, had that, and I think I had some apple pie for dessert. Was that the night I had apple pie? Yeah. Out of mood, which is great. Um, but anyway, so I was saying earlier the whole thing. We saw, or Crystal actually saw, was it in the Hub app about the selfie thing? Yeah, Carnival has a Hub app that you can download and it'll do a countdown to your cruise. And then once you're on the ship, you can log in it has all the information that have. They have maps of the entire ship and where everything's at. It has a list of everything that's going on during the day, all the activities and stuff it has all the menus for all the different. Yeah. For the activities, you can favorite stuff on it. If you want to go to it, and it'll notify you 15 minutes beforehand. It'll say such and such is about to start. And also it tells you whoever else is in your party is going to stuff. So like when I open my hub app, it would show that Crystal was going to, you know, certain events or whatever. I guess if you're in a big group and you're separated, then you can kind of know where everyone's going. But also it had all the menus for all the different eateries and what times they were open. Um, cause the only things that were open 24 seven was the pizza and I think the frozen yogurt machines, pretty much everything else had certain times that they were open and you could view the menus for what they were serving on any given day. Cause the menus were changing every day, which was nice cause you could try different things and it wasn't always the same, you know, handful of things for dinner. So, uh, <clears throat> That was really cool. But she had saw on the app a thing about a contest for selfies with the cruise director. And up to that point, we were actually, I don't think we had even seen our cruise director yet. So we were like, well, maybe we can do that because it said that anybody who did it would get a prize. And we were trying to, to do that. So after dinner, there was a show. A different show I forget what it was but um we went to another show and after the show that the cruise director actually came out with all the the dancers and stuff and they had a big like party in the atrium so I was trying to get one then but our cruise director was like very sneaky like <laughs> she just always appeared out of nowhere and then once she stopped talking she just disappeared so we could never find her so they actually had that show twice that evening. They had one at 8 and one at 10. So when it was getting close to 10, we actually just went straight to the atrium and kind of waited because we knew that if they were doing the same show, that they'd probably come out into the atrium and have the party again. So when we got there, they were actually ending the show, and the, the dancers and stuff made their way out to the main 
the main atrium <clears throat> of the ship. <laughs> Mr. Deed style, exactly. We were underestimating her sneakiness. <laughs> but so I waited. All the dancers and stuff came out, and I was waiting there. And I, again, I had no idea where she came from. She just appeared out of nowhere. But before she started the party thing, I tapped her on the shoulder, like, Can I get a selfie with you? And she was like, Yeah, of course. And we took the. So that was that one. I think I posted that on Twitter. Finally got the first selfie with her. And she said, I could barely hear because the music was so loud, but she was like, make sure you get plenty because the more you get, like the better chances of getting the grand prize, which I didn't at that point even know was a thing. But, uh, so I was like, okay, well, you know, I'll try to, but at that point she had been so hard to track down. I didn't think I was really going to get any more. How are you doing it now? Okay. So yeah, so then after that we went and <clears throat> did some more stuff and then went to bed because we were pretty tired. I think Crystal's trying to send me like to her pictures now if I can pull them up here. So did you do your own? Oh, cool. No, that works. Okay, so I'll just... Uh, let me close all these extra tabs. They're not taking up resources. Let's pull this uh, over here. So, let's see. Um, are yours in any kind of order? Nope, they're just there. I think most of yours are from later in the trip that are in here. But yeah, so I went to bed the next day. We got a... Uh, huh? Most of them are. Yeah, I know. They're great pictures. Oh, they're still loading in. That's why. Only a fraction of them have had. Okay, they must obviously still be loading. Yeah, because like 50 pictures just loaded in out of nowhere. Well, I'll let that keep loading then. Yeah, because more just popped in again. Okay, cool. We'll let hers keep loading. Um. So then the next day we were in Nassau. We were actually supposed to go to Princess K's first and then and then Nassau. But they had some kind of medical emergency on the ship. So they said they had to go to Nassau first, which we never figured out what the medical emergency was or, uh, you know, why they had to do it. So this was when we were at Nassau. That was our ship. That's our ship there. We were parked next to one of the Royal Caribbean ships. Actually, parked next to like three Royal Caribbean ships. Um, I forget all what they. I was like the Majesty of the Seas. Uh, I don't know what else. Um, but yeah, so that was in Nassau. That was at the dock. I did take a few pictures at the dock. Zambies. Zambies. That was a yacht we saw. That yacht was fancy as hell, man. That yacht was like a mini cruise ship. That's some of the, I want to take a picture of the water. The pictures don't do it justice how blue the water is. This is cool. This is a sign. I don't know what all the stickers are from. I guess people can just put the stickers out there. But it says the island of the Bahamas underneath all the stickers. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Thank you. Our crew ship next to us had norovirus three times. We're trying to, yeah, we're trying to stay away from those people. And then, of course, got a picture of the welcome to Nassau sign. Uh, that was another picture. There were some like houses or villas or. I don't want to mess with that right now. They were really nice. And that was uh, Atlantis in the distance from the Bahamas commercials that everybody always sees, I'm sure. 
you could actually go to that, but we didn't because <laughs> it was expensive and like you had to pay for access to actually go and do anything. But uh, that was another like really nice house that we saw over there. Right on, right on the water. Uh, how many more do I have? Oh yeah, I got one. The, my pictures aren't that good either, because, like Crystal said, we we decided not to bring our camera because we didn't want to lug it around everywhere. Because it's a really heavy. It's like you know a Nikon DSLR camera, so it's really heavy, and we have multiple lenses for it and all that. So it's like carrying around this big bag all the time. So we we're like, ah, oh, we just we don't need it. We can take good pictures with our phones. And we got back and uploaded pictures like, yeah, they don't look anywhere near as good as what the camera would have picked up. So next time we know, ah, uh, Enchantment of the Seas, that was one of the other ones. We got a picture of it there. There's the Majesty of the Seas. And then the port and some, like, fancy hotels and other buildings. We're on the port view plan. If it wasn't free, we didn't go. Yeah. Hey, man. Can't afford to go on that, that fancy high and mighty stuff. Let me see if more of your pictures have loaded in. Yeah, they have. A lot of them have loaded in. Okay, cool. Okay, this looks like from the start. Can I just, like, open it? Okay, here we go. So, yeah, that was at Charleston when we were getting on the ship. Can I just, like, flip through? Here we go. Uh, that was the piano bar I was telling you guys about that we sat in while we waited for our room to get ready. Um, that was the library. They have a full library on the ship with a ton of books and like board games and other stuff and tables and things. Your pictures do look a lot nicer than mine though. Got that iPhone 7 Plus. That is a karaoke bar. Has uh, an Asian theme to it. That was also in Charleston. Also in Charleston. That's the Serenity deck. Only 21 years and older can be on that deck. So that the adults have a place to get away from the kids. But fortunately on our trip, there was actually more kids this time than last time. But there was still only, what, maybe like 20 kids total out of 2,000 people. So it really wasn't a big deal. But they, they do have that deck there with two hot tubs just for the adults to hang out on. Uh, that was a really nice sunset picture. Okay, this was also Nassau, Bahamas Experience Tours. We didn't go on that shit. Oh, yeah, they also had horse and carriage rides, but that also cost a lot of money, so we didn't do that either, but it looked cool. Um, that actually behind it was the police station. I don't know if it's like police station slash courthouse, maybe. There's like a bunch of cops there. And then, yeah, down the the, the main strip of the Bahamas is like nothing but really expensive stores. You can see their Pandora. They had like a Rolex store, a Cartier, um, like tons of jewelry stores and, you know, watch stores and stuff like that. <sighs> Scotia bank, which is like a huge, that bank was huge. I think it was like the size of a hotel. Now ah, there's the Royal bank of Canada also. I'm not sure what that building is there, but it looks nice. <laughs> phone booth. We saw so many phone booths. We were fascinated by it. Because they had so many phone booths and you don't see them here anymore. Yeah, they have that big building that says second and third floor for rent. More horse and carriages. There's the Cartier store, actually. You can see that behind those posts there. Show the big mama braiding hair. <laughs> we haven't gotten that far yet. What was what? Phone booth? I don't know. It's ancient technology. Oh, that right there was the mall. Like, between the Cartier and the Rolex stores, there was like a mall inside of it. Hey, princess. What are you doing? Hey, puppy. What are you doing? Yes, it was your bank, the Royal Bank of Canada. Didn't you know that? You're famous in Canada. Phone booths every two feet. It was amazing. I wish I had changed so I could have called. Yeah, I know. We said that too. 
But we wish we had some some change for the payphone. Huh? Why don't you just fake talk? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a good idea. Something like that was was that the John Bull I think right? No, it's like a pirate. It's like a pirate. Yeah. There's some pirates in front of, uh, oh, that was, yeah, in front of that store that had tons of expensive shit in it. Like, everything on that main strip was really expensive. Oh, that was one of the traffic officers. They have real cops that, act like, carry guns and stuff, but they had a lot of these traffic officers that just had little batons and things on them. Banana Bay. Car there's the Cartier again. Oh, and the Starbucks. We did go to the Starbucks. The John Bull. Yeah, there's the Rolex. There's a Rolex door. A nice Rolex watch that we couldn't afford. <laughs> I actually have a Rolex watch, but it was given to me from my father before he passed away. So that was another one of the, the guys with the batons. I don't know if they're cops or if they're like... Something else. That was another one. They were mainly directing traffic, so. But that Starbucks is the best Starbucks in the universe. Isn't it? Yeah, it tasted way better than our Starbucks here. It was really good. Oh, that was outside the courthouse. I don't know what was going on that day, but when we walked back, there was a ton of lawyers and people in suits and police officers. And on the other side, you can see there were tons of people taking pictures. I guess they were having some kind of trial there. This is the paddy wagon. Yeah, I think you don't you have a picture in here of it? Yeah, I'm getting there. There it is. Police working together for a safer Bahamas. They don't dial 911, they dial 919. So fancy. Yeah, we're so fancy, man. RoyalBahamasPolice.org. Yeah, we don't know what that is for. Victoria, Regina, something. 1837 to 1901. Apparently she was somebody important. Oh, yeah, they had this giant Christmas tree outside. I guess, obviously, they did, weren't going to take it down yet. But it was pretty cool. That Christmas tree is like two or three stories high. It's huge. You can see it's going above that two-story building. Yeah, that's where all the people came from, was that police bus. Oh, it was a Bacardi. I think that was a, a bar, but it was closed. But it looked pretty cool. And they had free Wi-Fi, but they were closed, so we didn't get to get on that. If they would have been open and had free Wi-Fi, I was going to try to stream from there. But they didn't. Yeah, we passed these guys. I don't know if they're like military or what. They were all wearing like military-style uniforms and boots. Bahamas Association of Land Surveyors in commemoration of Columbus Landfall, 1942 to 1992. Or 1492, yeah, 1492 to 1992. More pictures of ships, the grandeur of the seas. So it was the grandeur of the seas, the majesty of the seas, and the other one I said before. Welcome to Nassau. It was a funeral of a sergeant of the police force, and they had a big get-together to pay respects. Oh, okay. You went to the Royal Bahamas Police dot org. <laughs> How did he pass away? It was a lady police officer. They say what happened. Oh. I think this was on the way back. It started pouring. You can see everybody's trying to cover themselves up. We got we were drenched by the time we got back. We were trying to rush back to the ship. Oh, there's some more of the yacht. That yacht was fancy as hell, man. They you can see they have speed boats down inside the yacht. Like that's how huge this is to give you scale. That's a speed boat right there inside the yacht. <laughs> it was massive. Like, damn, these are some rich folks over here. And that was our towel elephant. That was the first time we got a 
towel animal. And we got an elephant, which we were told last cruise, if you get an elephant, it means your cabin guy really likes you because it's the hardest one to do. So obviously. Uh huh. Ow. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, you can see it was pouring and started coming down. Oh. Yeah, we we're already back on the ship by then. You can see uh, everything is drenched on the ship. It started coming down. It was nice there, though. I was back inside in the atrium. More pictures of that. I mean, it was beautiful. Like, if, if it had been sunny, it would have looked amazing out there. It was just, as you can see, overcast and raining all day. But even still, it still looks really nice. You can still see how blue the water is. See, she got she got better pictures of the pictures that I was showing you guys. <laughs> Her pictures, you can actually see like the differences in the water and everything. The other ships all lined up in a row. Everybody docked. Our ship was a ghost town at this point because most everybody was still in Nassau. Oh, the Build-A-Bear Workshop at Sea Party. These are, we got some, some Build-A-Bears. Thanks to Crystal's brother and sister-in-law. Gave us some money for some Build-A-Bears. So she got a cat in the hat. Because Carnival has like this partnership with Dr. Seuss. So like they have so many, they have a lot of Dr. Seuss themed stuff. Including the breakfast that she's got pictures of in here too. But, uh, so they have Carnival specific build a bears one of which is cat in the hat so she got that one and i got a penguin he's just a regular build a bear but he's awesome he's mr chili and he's my friend and he's my friend but yeah we went to the it was it was supposed to be like a party like you were supposed to go and you do the build a bear thing and they were supposed to have like some snacks and drinks and like all that stuff but they didn't have any of that they literally just went in and said hey do your your build a bears and all that and uh be happy so that's what we did let me go back to my pictures here and see i had one of our towel animal too it's just chilling straight chilling figured out what 75 percent of my pictures won't show i was looking through my phone everyone that doesn't show up on my computer it's a live photo. Ooh, it's probably a different file format. I don't know besides... Yeah, save. Do the thing where you like save one photo from the live photo. Okay, this is obviously Princess K. So let me go back to my pictures. Uh, what do I have between... I don't have much between that. I have my dinner, which was a Greek salad, which was good. And uh, some fil filet mignon. No, I'm switching back and forth to keep the timeline consistent. Okay. Yeah, I probably won't be still streaming by the time you finish that. But got some filet mignon, some lobster tail, more of that delicious bacon mac and cheese, some mashed potatoes. That was good. It's good shit. I enjoyed it. Okay. And then we had some, we got up the next morning, had some breakfast, had me a ham and cheese omelet with some sausage and hash brown things and some toast. It was good. Liked it. Some orange juice. Everything's also, like the table's all set up nice, fancy while you're there. We were out of place. So I'm I'm probably gonna stick mostly with your pictures of Princess Case because I'm sure yours are all better. I don't think I really have any good ones besides like this one. That's my foot because I wanted to get like the one of the you know the vacation picture that everybody always gets sitting looking out over the water. So, but yeah, this was at uh, Princess Case. You can see how blue the water like. 
it, the photos don't even do it justice to how blue the water is but you can see the difference from like the dark blue into the lighter shades of blue going towards the shore <clears throat> but what's pretty cool about this island is this, crystal found it after we got back this is actually a pretty big island it's like 212 miles or something but they have this whole beach section just like separated off from everything else which is the private you know like owned by carnival just for you know carnival guests <clears throat> she got these cool there like the water was shimmering <clears throat> That's pretty good. And then... But uh, we had to take these little boats because the ship... There's no dock here because it's just an island and like beaches and stuff so there's no dock. So they actually just park the ship out in the ocean and they have to take you to the island in these little tender boats. That hold how many people you figure that hold maybe like fifty, yeah. maybe a little more, yeah. and you all load up in this boat, and then they take you the whatever mile or whatever it is from the boat to the shore. May not have been quite a mile, but probably so because it may have took the boats like around twenty to thirty minutes to make the trip. You can see there we were leaving our our big ship on the little boat. Yeah. Well, that's why I said just do the thing where you can take one picture from the live picture. So you don't have to do that. I thought I had a thing where you could just save one from it. I don't know. But yeah, there was the ship, leaving the ship behind, and then they take you to the little mini docks where these boats can park. And you gotta walk through this long maze thing to get onto the beach and then you can see the beach it was really nice there man the pictures do not do it justice it was still pretty cloudy but the sun came out a good bit here and there especially later in the afternoon there wasn't a ton of people there because there was supposed to be several ships there but it ended up only being us and we're thinking it's because we had to make the the change because of the medical emergency. So we ended up being there the, the next day. Because, yeah, our waiter told us it was usually like three or four ships there at one time. But it was nice because then it wasn't super crowded. It was just, you can see, it's just ours out there. It's more pictures of the beach. They've got a ton of little eating areas because they do a big barbecue out there. So that, you know, people can eat for free. It's all It's all included. But you can eat while you're off the ship. You don't have to go back to the ship to get lunch or anything. Because who wants to take an hour out of their day to go back to the ship? Actually, I ended up taking probably a couple hours. Because by the time you get back, ate, and then came back to the island. So that was nice. <clears throat> that was a little map of the island. Which we only got to see a very, very small portion of. But it was still pretty cool. They have a rock sound bungalows snorkeling sting apparently they have like some rare stingrays there and some like rare sharks and lizards and shit more of the island you can see it was still pretty much mostly cloudy that day but man the beach was nice look at that water and they had this little uh little dock slash gazebo out in the water where you could stand and take pictures so we went out there for a little bit took some pictures didn't seem to make them appear computer still I don't know yeah there's there probably should be a way to do it you can see our ship way out there in the distance the blue the light blue and bluish green water this is our ship again in the distance. It's pretty far. It probably is about a mile. That's what I said. You agreed. There's Crystal's picture. 
looking out. We had some good beach chairs right at the right at the water line. There's our ship again. There's a dude out there snorkeling. He was just straight going down the beach snorkeling. <laughs> he didn't give a he didn't give a shit about anything. They had plenty of places where you could like buy drinks and stuff, but we were not looking to spend a lot of money on drinks. Yeah, we we got some drinks, like Crystal said, thanks to her brother, and of course, thanks to King for his tip. Yeah, man, it was it was beautiful there. We were saying earlier that it would be really nice to go there for like just to explore. Oh, that itch, that itch, oh. Because there's so much more to the island than what you can see while you're there for the day. It's more of the water. I actually went into the water right here. But I, I was just going to wade around in the water. But the waves that were coming in were actually really big. Some of them. And uh, I had a, a rogue big wave hit me and it knocked me all the way down into the water luckily i'd already given crystal my phone and stuff so i didn't have anything in my pockets but it it took me down <laughs> and i had trouble getting back up because damn way because i mean like these waves here weren't that big they were only a few feet but the one that hit me was I like i don't know I, I would assume you could upload them to the drive too. But uh yeah, the wave that hit me had to have been at least five feet because I mean I'm I'm six foot three and it knocked me down. So and I'm you know a big guy. Yeah. And that was where they were doing the cookout under that big big uh uh, whatever you want to call it there. They were making like burgers and bratwurst and hot dogs and all kinds of stuff, but we decided not to eat there because we ate breakfast before we went to the island, so we weren't really hungry. And then we, when we went back to the ship, we just grabbed something to eat. And they had kayaks and paddle boats and all kinds of stuff you could rent, but you would, you'd you'd have to be pretty experienced to... uh to go out there and the waves that we were having because we were having some pretty big waves. You feel broke now? Well, if you are broke, then that might be why you feel broke. But you'll be happy when you have a nice new computer. <laughs> there you go, church. There's the big the big girl sleeping, waiting for somebody to get their herd, dude. She was out, man. She was waiting. Because they do the hair braiding, but it's like so many dollars per braid. So most people that got it done only got like a few braids or like half their head done. Yeah, she was out. She's going to wrap her tree trunks around your waist. <laughs> yeah, she definitely got some tree trunks. I feel bad for that poor plastic chair. Next week, hopefully, like I said, man, you're going to have to share some pictures with us. That's a good picture there. Out of the water. I could have stayed there for all day, man. It was so nice out there. Well, this is about the time it actually started getting kind of sunny. The clouds kind of separated a little bit and we got some sun. This is when we were heading back to the ship. The same thing, they you get back in the boat and they take you all the way to the ship and then you have to wait and climb up the gangway on one of those those little boats. That's more pictures. Of that. I mean, it's, like I said, the pictures do not do it justice. It's so beautiful there. But you can see how much of the island is undeveloped. Like it's all just kind of forests and stuff. That's my stream. <laughs> you have to mute my stream then. 
<laughs> um. So yeah, so that's more of the boats we're back up on the ship. That's the they have like a whole water park on the top of the ship, like water slides and all kinds of crazy stuff you can do. We like to hang out up there though because it's one of the most upper decks, and you can get a really good view of the water and the sunsets and stuff. So we're hanging out there. We got some really, really good sun pictures here. And that's at the back where the Serenity deck is. She got another vacation feet picture. <laughs> it's a good one, though. It's like a point of view picture. Yeah, that was really cool with the sun behind the clouds with all the rays coming through. And the sunset. We finally got a sunset picture like on the last night. It was a cl I know that. I was I was saying that I have some of them. I was saying that these nights was what I was going to say. The clouds were blocking the sun so we couldn't get a proper sunset picture. Cuz see the cloud they disappeared behind the cloud line back there. Okay, so that's the breakfast. Let me go back to my pictures. See if I have any good. I had some good. I had some really good ones of this. That's probably my favorite with the rays coming through the clouds right there. And like lighting up the ocean in that one spot. I thought that picture was really good. That's probably my favorite picture. That's a good one too. But yeah, the sun just kind of disappeared behind this cloud bank, so we couldn't really get a good good sunset picture. You can see there was a lot of clouds that day. That's actually a really cool picture. I didn't know I had that one. Do you see that? It's a pretty neat picture with the sun. and the, almost looks like a vortex of clouds. Thanks. That was my ice cream. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself now. Let me go back to crystals. <clears throat> so this was... This would have been after Princess K. So this would have been our last sea day. We went to the green eggs and ham breakfast. Which is the cat in the hat breakfast. They got... This is like the menu. They got like some cereal. And it's, they got all kinds of stuff. But you can get actual green eggs and ham. If you want. We did not. <laughs> And then you could get, like, most of it was pretty regular stuff. But last time we actually went and I got the steak and eggs and it wasn't anything special as far as, like, Dr. Seuss goes. And uh, so this time I decided to get the Belgian waffles with Crystal. And everything, like everything was Dr. Seuss themed, so they had the napkins were like little cat in the hat ties. And the menu, they had thing one and thing two. I don't know. We got sat at the table with all these other people because they don't really do. In the dining room, I had emailed the maitre d' and got ourselves a table for two. So we were, you know, by ourselves the whole time. But for this, they pretty much seat everybody together no matter what. So we were at the table with this family with a bunch of spoiled-ass kids that were super annoying. But it was fun. <laughs> and there's a cat in the hat. And you can see they, have this, they had a huge cat in the hat ice sculpture and, like, a bunch of decorations and stuff. And this family was, like, super redneck, too. They were like those kind of rednecks that were trying to act like they were not rednecks. Which made it even funnier. I don't know. There's a better one of the cat in the hat. Everything was... Oh, there's our towel we got. The second towel animal we got, we think it was a cat or something. We're not really sure. Or a walrus, we don't know. And then on the, the last one we got was a heart. He made us a big heart. Huh? Yeah, we gave him a tip. And Crystal had also been making the bed every day. 
because she's pro like that. And he actually, when we we came back once to our room while he was there, and he said, he said, Crystal, you make the bed? <laughs> and she said, yeah. And he said, you do a good job. <laughs> He was like, and this is the thing about these guys that I it just blows me away. There's like 2,000 people on the ship, and these guys service a lot of cabins, and they and this and he remembered our names every time he saw us. He called us by our names. There's that many people on the ship, and it changes every like four to five days. There's new people on the ship, and yet he can remember. He remembered our names every time, and he was very friendly. So I made sure to give him, we gave him a good tip because he was a good guy. And that's, uh, that's the main atrium. They got like a bar and then the grand staircase and the glass elevators and all that, that fancy stuff. Crystal the maid. <laughs> yeah, she, she made the bed every day. Well, we tried every morning before we left. We put the extra blankets away. She made the bed. We picked up because I mean, we're not the kind of people that we really like people having to, you know, pick up after us especially since most people are really inconsiderate and like trash their rooms and made them clean up after them so we always try to make our room an easy room that was our groove for saint jude sure they had things where they were trying to because carnival also partners with saint jude they had this big groove for saint jude thing out on the uh, pool deck where they like danced and they had music and stuff and they were trying to raise money for St. Jude and they had if you donated like you know however much money you could get a t-shirt and they had some other stuff too so we donated to the St. Jude just because it's nice to do but we did get a t-shirt which is also cool and then you know, Sharon was leaving their doors open as they checked out looking at rooms walked by and couldn't believe how a lot of people leave their rooms people said yeah people just straight up trash their rooms and just leave it and they only have like the you have to be out of your room by eight thirty, and they only have until one thirty, until all the rooms have to be ready, because new people are already getting on the ship by like noon. So again, you know, we try to be considerate and we put all of our stuff back, and you know, obviously he's still gonna have to strip the room completely down and everything, but made it as easy as possible. Cause we're just we're just nice like that. We're good people. <laughs> yeah, some that, that lady looks angry right there. This was inside on. See, this was the last sea day, so it was packed inside, and it was super cold outside. As you can see, these ladies wearing their jackets and sweaters and stuff. Coming back to Charleston on the last day, it was very cold, so like everybody was packed inside. But it was nice outside as far as views go. That's a nice picture right there. Good job, Crystal. I said that's a nice picture. Whatever. Looking for some participation here. <laughs> Got some sunset pictures. This was the good sunset pictures. This is when there was no clouds on the horizon. So we actually got pictures of the sun as it was going down. Look at that. It's like straight out of a movie or something, man. I don't know why they won't show up. Hopefully we can get it figured out. See, you, could, you actually like could physically see the sun going down over the horizon. It was awesome. Slowly disappeared. I have some of this too on in my pictures. Um, that was our ice cream. We got some ice cream and looked out over the. Yeah, we had ice cream looking out over the water. It's actually like frozen yogurt, but still. Oh, that was at the Groove for St. Jude thing. I took a selfie with Brittany in Houston. Houston was awesome, dude. He was so funny, and he, like, was so out there with his, like, dancing and all the stuff he was doing. 
Some more of that. Yeah, I got some. Here are my sunset ones that I got. <clears throat> okay, I'll look and see when I get when I get through if it shows up. But yeah, it was it was wild, man, watching the sun just slowly go down over the horizon like that. I had never actually seen a sunset on the ocean like that before, so it was really cool. Well, yeah, because I was trying to zoom in, but I don't have the fancy zoom like your phone does. Your phone has, like, the two-camera zoom, so you got you got that shit, like, really good, so screw you. Some of us got the Section 8 phones. Uh, let's see, this one, this one would have been after, because that was our drinks. So hold on, let me go back to mine again. Okay, so dinner time, I got me some steamed mussels. They were good as shit. Yeah, man, it was beautiful. It was awesome. Our sunrise you saw yesterday was my favorite thing. Yeah, that was that was really good. You can't get it to show up. And then those were my frog legs. They were good. I liked them. That was my prime rib. Oh yeah, this shit was so good. And my cherry pie. We got some cherry pie a la mode. It was really good. Let's see. This is a video. Let's see what's this. Oh yeah, that was Houston. <laughs> he was so awesome. They were going through like hits through the decades. Oh, and there's my drink. So we're at the same point now. Okay, here's a video on crystals. Oh, that was at Princess K's. I need to turn this shit down. It's very loud. We were sitting out on the gazebo thing. Is it? No, this is on the drive. You didn't? But I'm in your thing. Uh, yeah, I'm in your folder. I don't have any pictures or anything in here. Oh. Well, that sucks. I don't even know where I found that because I was just like scrolling through the pictures and then it popped up. Um, so that. Oh, that was a panorama I tried to, it came out a little wobbly, as you can see. There's kind of a bend in the ocean, but I was trying to take a panorama from the back of the ship. I think it looked too bad, though. And that was the end of my pictures. I didn't actually take any pictures of the sunrise in Charleston, so... But it was the sun. The sun rise in Charleston was actually really cool. The sun came up so fast, you actually could see the sun moving up like this. It was crazy. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't get to see anything but the fins because. I was in I was getting some juice when she went out there. So we saw but we saw their fins a few times. And yeah, we stood out there hoping that we would get to to see them, but we did not. I guess that was the only video I had was that one. I was waiting to see if yours updated with did you upload any other videos? No, no. I've only 
That was when they were doing the Fresh Prince in the, that was. I don't know, I was just showing stuff. Uh, he said he just got here. He was walking in the house. <laughs> yeah, it was when they were singing like the Fresh Prince and doing all the, the hits through the decades. She was trying to look through her videos, but... I think by the time she goes through them and uploads them, it'll probably take too long anyway. Huh? Well, I was saying it'd probably take you a while to do that. But it's cool. I don't know, Justin, did you get to see my, my little metal thing that I won? I gotta go back to the big camera. I can show you guys some stuff. Let's see. Intermission. I got this cool medal for taking selfies with the cruise director. It says Carnival. It's got the ship on it, and then it's got like pretty cool for taking selfies with Brittany, the cruise director. And then we got Crystal. This it's a dolphin. It's like a hand carved wooden dolphin. And I got that in Nassau. That's hers, and I got this. <laughs> it's a so it's a wooden sword. It's got wood burned into it. It says the Bahamas. It says Bahamas, and it's got like some some decorations and stuff burned into it. And the uh, the hilt is like a dragon carved into it. I like the dragon the best, but it's like a wooden wooden sword. It's meant to just like be hung up on the wall. No, we never found out what the grand prize was. She just said that the more selfies, yeah, we uh we never did figure it out. But I took like two selfies with her. And uh, they wrote my name and our cabin number down and stuff, but we never figured it out. <clears throat> so, are you going to tell the story? I hear you typing. Well, I was going to tell you, so you don't have to type all that. Okay, so yeah, so starting from what she just said. Uh, um, so, we normally got the cookies through room service, because room service on the ship is free. Like, there's certain stuff you can pay for that's, like, the, like, cooked food. But basic room service is free, like cookies, some other desserts, sandwiches, um, breakfast stuff, things like that are all free. You can get as much as you want. But we found out that late at night, they actually have a late night snacks thing at the Lido deck where they usually do the buffet and other stuff. So we found out that they have the cookies there. So <laughs> we go up there and we, we had to get something to eat anyways. Cause we didn't eat or we hadn't eaten and whatever. So, um, you know, I got myself some like Turkey wraps and we were waiting for the cookies to come. <laughs> so we, it finally opens up. We go to the buffet, we get plates. There's a bunch of people in front of us, but they're all getting real food. Cause they actually had some like, sandwiches and hot dogs and things like that up there for people to get so we're like well we'll just go around these people because they're all getting real food anyway and go to the cookies so we go around and crystal's just like loading these cookies up onto the plate like just like as many as she can grab with the little tongs at once onto the plate filling up the whole plate and then i go after her and i start loading them up and she says the girl behind me said while she was getting her cookies like she better leave some cookies for the rest of us <laughs> and like crystal's over there just laughing like, these people probably thought we were drunk as hell 
because the way we were just laughing and carrying on, and I promise you we were not drunk. We might have had a little buzz because we did have some drinks right before then, and then after my drink I actually got a beer because they had this little pour-your-own-beer machine where you get like a plastic cup and you can pour your own beer, and it was only like, and it cost me like three bucks for a beer, which I know seems like a lot, but on the ship, three bucks for a beer is cheap. If you actually went to the bar and got a beer, it'd be like six, seven bucks. But, uh, so anyway, so we're standing in line just like laughing our heads off, getting all like these big plates full of cookies. And then we're up on the Lido deck, which is deck 10 on the back of the ship. And we're on deck five, kind of in the middle of the ship. So we have to go all the way back to our cabin with these giant ass plates full of cookies so we're of course you know laughing all the way we get on go to get on the elevator there's like this young what do you think like maybe 13 year old kid in the elevator then we go down with him and he's just like sitting in the corner like and we're sitting over there laughing you know in the corner with our giant plates full of cookies i think he was dying to get off that elevator so we get off the elevator, still laughing our heads off, and we just start like running down the hallway with our cookies because we didn't want anybody to like see us with these giant ass plates full of cookies. So we're like running down the hallway carrying these big plates full of cookies, and then we get back to our room, and of course at this point we're laughing even harder now. We get in our room, we're sitting there joking around, and yeah, we just walked down the room. And we're sitting there laughing and joking around, and the phone starts ringing. <laughs> and we're like, uh, we just kind of like looked at each other like we didn't know what to do. So we we didn't answer it because we were worried, like, we're like, did somebody see us taking all the cookies and ratted us out? Or is the, maybe the neighbor's complaining because we're like laughing and carrying on in here, and it's like 11.30 at night or something. Yeah, it's probably closer to midnight by that time. So we like we didn't answer it, and she and she was in there putting the cookies in Ziploc bags to take home. Thought you guys were posed. No, but you want to hear something funny? Earlier in the day, when we got off the elevator, a little chubby kid got on the elevator, and there was a guy behind him that came to the other. Was like he's like, "Hey, boss, you mind if I ride with you?" <laughs> And we started cracking up. And I'm like, oh my god, next he's going to ask him if he wants some candy. <laughs> it was just like the way he said it. Oh, man. Yeah, we th we thought maybe somebody like called and complained because we were running through the hallways laughing with cookies or something. But, uh, but we didn't answer it. And that's what she was saying, that maybe they were calling about our grand prize. But I don't, I don't think that was the case. Because they probably would have just gave it to us. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was quite the, uh, the exciting adventure. I was trying to see if anything else is loaded in. But I guess that was everything. Um, so yeah, I showed you guys the sword and the dolphin. I don't know if I have anything. Do you have my, my penguin? Oh, I see him. Yeah. Oh, John, he's right there. So, we got, uh, this is Crystal. I'll start with Crystal's first. She got the cat and the hat. I mean, he's, oh, you can see, he's, ow. I just hit myself in the face. He's huge. He's really, he's probably, what, like two feet tall? He's a big one. It's like Build-A-Bear, so you, you get him and it's just the the outer part and you stuff him and do all that stuff. And then, here, I'll hand him to you and I'll throw him to the wall. And then... I should have answered maybe won the prize. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, the, it was like 12 bucks per clothing item. So we're like, yeah, no, we don't want any. But then, this is mine. It's Mr. Chili. He's a penguin. 
He's really fat. Look at him. He's thick. Focus, camera, focus. He's heavy. He weighs like probably like five pounds, man. They stuffed him full. He's awesome. We said we'll get some clothes later. Yeah, I'll hand you them too. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, and we got stuff for for Crystal's family, my family, some uh, stuff from Nassau. Well, that's the thing. Like you, you, the they don't have any clothes on them, and you get the you kind of like get them outfits and stuff. But uh, <laughs> she wants me to show you her poppy because she's got clothes. See, she's got a dress. And she's got some slippers with her own head on them. <laughs> she says she would not be cute without clothes. Trolls gone wild. <laughs> nudist cat and a nudist penguin. Well, Cat in the Hat actually doesn't normally wear any other clothes. But Mr. Chili probably needs like a sweater or something. I've seen penguins wearing sweaters. Come on now. But uh yeah, we got got a few things and overall we just we just had a really good time. It was a lot of fun. Maybe he likes the breeze. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of money for some some fake underwear. But yeah, we had a good time. We just, you know, we did spend a lot of time really just hanging out on the ocean, out on the deck, just, you know, relaxing. It was nice to to have that time to just get away and, you know, have a good time. We ate a lot of food. I think we said that already, but... They just, they, they had so much good stuff. And since everything is free, it's like, you know, you can try new things. And that's why you know, I had the frog legs and I had the steamed mussels and I had, uh, you know, some other, I had like calamari and, you know, all this other, other stuff. And, <clears throat> oh, I did have a burrito. They have a cantina. That was something that was also new with the ship upgrades. They had this cantina where they do tacos, burritos. And like taco bowls and you know all that good stuff. So I did get one day I got a taco and another day I got a burrito and they were both really good. <clears throat> yeah, we had a great time. Like I said, you know, we we didn't take anywhere near as many pictures this time. I think that was partially because we had already been on the ship before. So we didn't, but we didn't get as many pictures of like the ship itself. And, uh, also cause we didn't take the real camera, which we said, you know, next time we're definitely going to take the real camera. Cause for one, I think it does give you incentive to take more pictures and also just the pictures are so much nicer. If you look at the beach pictures from our last trip compared to this trip, they just, they look so much better with the real DSLR camera. Especially since now she's got that nicer lens to take the farther out shots. So, glad glad you're back too. Yeah, we're glad to be back. We were talking about that. The one thing, probably the only negative side of the trip was the bed. The bed was not as comfortable as the bed we had last time. And compared to our bed at home, it felt like a rock. And we didn't get much sleep between the hard bed and all the noise. Because, you know, obviously people are up and about all night long and some people are not very considerate. So they'll make tons of noise going down the hallways and like slam into your doors and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so. It was, we didn't get a whole lot of sleep. We were really tired. 
So that was really nice last night getting to sleep in our own bed again. But yeah, it's good to be back, man. We missed we missed everybody here at home. We missed our house and our pets and all that good stuff. No, the cat loves us. The cat was happy to see us. Except for when he woke him up from his nap. Yeah, remember you? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know where your videos are. I just don't know these things. <laughs> no. Keeping you awake with that brown chicken brown cow, yeah. I'm sure there was plenty of that going on. <clears throat> we went to this one show it was the love and marriage show it was our favorite part from uh, the trip last time it was really really funny this time too but it's like that old you know newlywed game or whatever where they take three different couples up on stage and they have them they ask them questions and make them write them down and then the one has to like guess what the other one's gonna say you know so I ask them all these kind of different questions. Some are basic, like, you know, when and where did you first meet? And <clears throat> describe your first kiss and, like, all that stuff. But and they had other ones, too, that were a little more, like, racy. But <laughs> this one older couple, they've been married, like, 52, almost 52 years. And the, <laughs> the old man was, like, being so sweet. And the lady was being, like, such a bitch. With all her answers. <clears throat> and, uh, they asked, like, describe your night last night. And it was like, from, was it the 4th of July fireworks? Or was it Halloween a little freaky? You know, and so on and so forth. And then they got to the end. <laughs> or was it like Memorial Day honoring the dead? <laughs> and,. They got down to the older couple, and she said that it was like fireworks, and he said that it was like the dead. <laughs> and she was, she was like, "Were you guys in the same room last night?" <laughs> yeah, that was the other thing they asked if you could make one thing bigger and one thing smaller. And like the other couples had, you know, ways around it. Like they said, "Oh, bigger." A bigger bank account and a smaller ego or you know things like that and they got down to the old lady and she's like i wish she had a bigger penis and a smaller belly <laughs> and everybody just felt so bad for the old man because you could tell he was so embarrassed <laughs> but but she kind of got it back at the end when they asked to describe like your or name your last ex-girlfriend and the woman, and then the word your wife would use to describe her. And they got down to them, and his the old couple and the wife said, none, that they were t they've been together since they were young, and he, she was his one and only. And they went to the old man, and they <laughs> said, and he put down, uh, what was it? What was her name? I don't know. But he, he actually had somebody <laughs> down on there, and... And she was like, and she was like, really? <laughs> and they say, he said, yeah, she's my friend. Well, she's her friend too. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? So uh, they they were gonna have some interesting conversations later that night. But yeah, we felt so bad for the old man because he was being really nice at first with all his answers. Yeah, we saw them the next night and we were waiting to, to get into the dining room for dinner and they still acted like they hated each other, so. I guess that's just what happens for some people when you've been together for over 50 years. Yes. Maybe. <laughs> but, yeah, and they had some, some other, like, party. They had a big Mardi Gras party where everyone was dancing and... And they had that one from the clip that I showed you. It was like a hits through the decades where they played a bunch of songs, you know, that were big hits in their time. And we were laughing because all these, like all the cruise director and all the entertainers and stuff were like 
acting like they were all hyped about these songs and all of them were in their 20s so none of them were even alive when any of these songs came out they just didn't get along anymore or they just all love hate I don't know but I mean how like seriously if you're in that situation where you're like in front of hundreds of people like why would you not just lie and say something else? I mean, why would you just straight up like, yeah, he got a small dick. You know, <laughs> that's just up, man. That's not cool. <clears throat> She's trying to get a video for me to show. If she can get it together. But, uh... Yeah, they had a big party where they went through like all these songs and they had everyone doing these different dances and stuff. And <clears throat> they were throwing out beads, but we couldn't get any beads. They weren't throwing. They were mainly throwing to like people who were way up, huh? No, uh, they were mainly throwing them to like people up in the upper levels, and we were on the ground floor. But that's still not not acceptable to me. Yeah, she was she was not a nice lady. It would ruin your trip for I mean, I would be fucking embarrassed to see anybody else on the ship after that. I mean, come on. But the comedian was really funny. I said that earlier. I don't know if you were here, Justin, but the comedian on the ship, Doug Williams. He had apparently been on a bunch of like TV shows and stuff like, you know, Comedy Central and HBO and Stars and all that. But uh, he was really funny. We saw him on two different occasions. And he was telling these jokes about, he was talking about how he had been on other cruise ships. And his favorite was the Alaskan cruises. And uh, he was asking like people in the crowd, like, have they ever been on an Alaskan cruise before and some people like raise their hands and yell and say he's like well, what the hell are you doing here on the section 8 cruise you do downgrade you're supposed to go up not down because Alaskan cruises are really expensive they're like thousands of dollars <clears throat> whereas our, ours he kept he always referred to ours as the section 8 cruise but he said it was he loved the section 8 cruise because he loved the people he said the people were way more fun on the Alaskan cruises, he said it was nothing but senior city citizens and geriatrics. It's like he was the youngest person on the ship. Everybody else on the ship was like between the ages of like 70 and up. They were all old people. He was talking about how he was at the buffet talking to one of the, the, uh, guests on the ship and he's the guy just like started bending over and grabbing his stomach and stuff and he's like man i thought this guy was having a stroke he's like bending over and like grunting and all this stuff and i was like sir are you okay do you need help and he's like no nah, i'm just making room for the buffet <laughs> like oh my god that's terrible and uh he said, like, after 6 or 7 o'clock, it was all dead on the ship. Like, everybody had gone to bed already. Oh, it was Kim. Oh, God. And uh, he was talking about how they go on these excursions in Alaska. Like, they do, like, hiking and trail walking and all this stuff. And he said, before you go out, they do, like, a little briefing with you about you know dangers and stuff and one of the things they brought were bears because you know it's alaska there's a lot of bears everywhere <laughs> and he was saying you know they were going over how if you encounter a bear don't run away because a bear can outrun a person and he was like now you know this was made by white people for white people say so, because a black person sees a bear they're gonna turn around they're gonna outrun that damn bear <laughs> And he said, and he said, I'm not making any of this stuff up. He said, I want, he said, all the black people in the audience, when I tell you something, look to the white people. They'll shake your heads and, and tell them that I'm right. And he said, well, hold up. Can we bring the lights up real quick? Because, you know, it's dark in there. So I bring the lights on. He was like, okay, now all the white people can see the black people <laughs> in the audience. He said, so when I tell you this, you can look towards the people. <laughs> and he's like, they tell you when, uh, when you encounter a bear, you want to make yourself bigger than the bear. 
He's like, so I'm going to be standing out there with my hands up in the air like this is going to scare some bear off. He said, but you know what? Since we're on the geriatric cruise, I ain't got to worry about outrunning a bear because I don't have to outrun the bear. All I have to do is outrun these senior citizens <laughs> and, they, and the bear will get them instead. And he just, he, oh man, he was so funny, dude. I would like to, I actually would like to, I'm not a person who watches like stand-up comedy specials, but I would actually like to find some of his and, and watch them because he was really funny. You still working on your video? Oh, you did? Okay, hold on. Boop, boop. Let me try to pull them up here. She's trying to add some videos for me to watch. Let's see. It just kind of looks like I just kind of put the videos in the middle, so I'm going to have to, I'll have to find them in the crowd here. Let's switch back to this. Let me scroll up to the top and see where I might have put some videos. Uh... Yeah, there's one there and there's one there. Uh-huh. Oh, this was at the Dr. Seuss breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> that fucking guy, too. <laughs> Kip. <laughs> we called him Kip, because I'll show you when we go back. This guy, like, he, he looked like a, like a redneck Kip without the glasses. <laughs> He was, he was a trip, man. <laughs> he was something else. Oh, man. Let's see, what's this other one? Oh, God. This is so funny. Houston was awesome. That was Houston, the one doing the dancing. He was so fucking funny, dude. <clears throat> he did so much funny stuff like that. Was it just those two? Yeah. We'll, we'll get it situated, and then, like, tomorrow, before we start playing a game, we'll, uh, we'll look at whatever else she has. Yeah, she's trying to find out how to get a lot of her stuff on the computer. It's just not showing up for her. So, when we can, uh, get that stuff beforehand, I'll play it for you guys, but... I think that's pretty much the majority of the trip, though. It was it was a lot of fun. We had a good time. We you know relaxed a lot. We ate some good food. We uh, got to see some some good sunsets and sunrises, and see a lot of the ocean. And we got to see the Bahamas, which is something that a lot of people do, you know, want to see in their lifetime. So that's something we can cross off our list. And the the best part, you know. <clears throat> for me, I think the best part was the the sunset. That's actually right right here. Yeah, the sun that the really good sunset was 
Yeah, that sunset and the sunrise the next day were like the best parts of the trip. Because we were just out there chilling on the Serenity deck together. Just like watching the sunset and taking pictures and stuff. And then the next morning, seeing the sun, you know, rise over the ocean was really cool. But that's, we spent a lot of time really just hanging out together and relaxing and, you know, not really doing a whole lot. But it's like we did a lot, but we also spent a good amount of time just, you know, hanging out together. So it was good times. But I like my medal. It's, I want to. That's a major award. It's a major award, guys. Oh, and oh, I was gonna say the uh, the casino. Let's get back to that. So I had I had gotten down to like three dollars and something. I got back up to a little over six bucks. So we decided the last day to go back to the casino because once you get back into Charleston, you can't gamble anymore. So I went back to the the slots and I started, you know, going. I got all the way down to like two bucks or something. And uh, the machine, it was called Hot Roll. And it had where you, you know, it's the regular slot. But then if you hit the Hot Rolls, you can like roll these dice. So I got that once and rolled and I got like, you know, a dollar forty off that. And I was winning a little here and there. But then I hit one, I forget what it was, it was like a quadruple payout or something on like multiple lines, and I'm getting like all the way back up to like nine bucks, <laughs> which I know it's a, it's a tiny amount of money, but when you're playing penny slots, going from like $2 up to like $9 is a lot. But uh, so we, I, I was talking to Chris, I said, you know, I said we could we we already wrote this money off to just have fun with and gamble. I said, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and cash it out and not not blow it. And you know, something must have told me to do that because then that night when we were in the dining room, we were talking to our waiter. He was so great the whole trip. He was so friendly and so nice, and he seemed like a really good person. He was telling us, you know, about how he liked to garden and you know. How he, this is funny, the story was telling us the last night we were there, we actually went and sat down because they have assigned seating. So, like, once you go the first night, they don't lead you to your table anymore. You just go to your table because you know it's yours. So, we get to our table and we're sitting there for like 10, 15 minutes. And we had seen him right before we went into the dining room. He ran out and ran down the stairs. And we're in there sitting, waiting. You know, we, we weren't in any kind of hurry. He gets back up there and he's like, he's like, I'm so sorry. I was in here and I was ready to go. And they call me and they tell me that I have mail. And I tell them, I never get mail. <laughs> Nobody sends me mail. <laughs> and then they keep calling me and say, three different people tell me that I have mail. So I think, well, I better go check and see. <laughs> and, uh, oh, some more stuff just loaded. Did you just load some more stuff in? Oh, shit. Um, so he's like, so I go down and check and, and I do have mail. I, he, it's from one of my past guests on the ship. He sent me a thing of hair gel <laughs> and he was like completely bald, like shiny, com you know, no hair at all bald. <laughs> he said, he sent me hair gel <laughs> like, oh my God. But he was just like he was so nice and so friendly and you know we we had dinner and everything we were talking to him and at the end of dinner he came came you know, next to us and said he said I just want to thank you guys for for coming on the cruise and I enjoyed having you guys so much it was my pleasure to serve you and I hope that I'll see you again like he was just you know so I think he wanted to like give us a hug but he was like like he didn't know if that would be okay kind of deal. Yeah, so, but he was just, he was really cool. So I took, I took the nine bucks. I, now, here's the thing with the cruise. You already pay gratuities. When you go on, there's automatic gratuities that go to everybody on the ship. And it's split up between, like, the, the housekeepers and the waiters and, you know, all that. But it's not mandatory. You can actually, you know, tell them you don't want to pay gratuities, which would be a really shitty thing to do. But also you can prepay gratuities in advance. You can go ahead and pay out the however much it is in advance. And, uh, okay, cool. 
And uh, that's what I did. I prepaid the gratuity so I didn't have to worry about it. But then we also wanted to give a little extra to the people who really deserved it. So basically our cabin steward and our, our main waiter. But uh, but um, anyway, so I, I took the money that I had from cashing it out. And I gave that to him to say thank you. You know, even though he already got gratuities from the prepaid, I wanted to give him something a little extra. So, okay, here we go. What what all did you upload so I can find it? Oh, man. This is new. Okay, that was our hallway. That was the hallway to our... That was the hallway we ran down with our cookies at midnight. Um, That was our room. That was when we first got there. That's basically what the room looks like. You walk in, and where she's standing when she took that picture to your right is the bathroom, which is like a you know basic bathroom with a shower stall. And on the left is some uh, like closets for you to hang your clothes and stuff. And then there's a little desk with the stool you can sit at, and then the bed, and then over in the right corner the TV is up on a shelf. And that's pretty much all there is to the room. Well, you can. I was here when you uploaded these. <laughs> oh. Um, oh, this was the Dr. Seuss story time. We went to that. That's one of the things I forgot to say. They had like a Dr. Seuss parade that led here throughout the ship. And then they had like a story time thing. That's the mini golf course on the top of the ship. We still didn't get a chance to play it. Because, yeah, it was windy and raining and... There's when it wasn't, as you can see, there was a lot of people up there playing, so we didn't. That's the uh, above the pool deck, like the pools down. You can't see it from here, but the pools down in here, and then the hot tubs and stuff. Uh, let's see what else do we got. This is in the main atrium, the piano bar, shops, all kinds of this where they put all the photos that they take. And the main atrium bar. That was the bar right there with the guy when I first got on the ship and got us something to drink. I had my Zorvax hoodie on. I posted this on Discord, but um, I, he was making my drink. He brought my drink pack, and he say, he say, what's Zorvax? And I'd like, I it caught me off guard, so I was just like, I'm Zorvax. He said, really? I said, yeah. He said, okay, here you go, Zorvax. <laughs> And then later out in the hallway, after when we were going back to our rooms, we passed him. He's like, hey, Zorvax. <laughs> it was so funny. I was like, yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. It doesn't look like enough lifeboats. There's more than what you see right there. There's more on the side. And each one holds like, I think, 140 something people. They're required by law to have enough for every passenger. Oh, and this was when we got off in Nassau. They were wanting to take our pictures with all these people. Which we did, but we didn't, like, get any of them. Because they charged you, like, 20 bucks for a picture. If you actually buy the pictures. Let me look through and see. Uh, all these came in while I was here, though. Waiting. That was that one of the. You don't remember uploading this one? Oh. That was Princess K's. Yeah. The waves were bigger than what you could see here. The big ass lifeboat. Yeah, they're. they're pretty damn big well and I'm sure they pack you in there we didn't actually go on the lifeboats they just basically show you where you would need to go if you have to get on the lifeboats yeah oh this one's new too of your waffles those were the waffles they overcooked them a little bit but they were still really good yeah. But they were still really good. 
Uh, let's see what else in here is. Here's a couple new ones. This is the main atrium again. This was, I think, during the songs, like the hits. Everybody was crowded in there. The atrium's really cool, though. Pretty cool. I see, yeah, I see some popping in while I'm sitting here, too. These are all the Charleston ones. This was when we were waiting on the sunrise. These are some really good pictures. This was at like seven in the morning. There's the bridge. Yep, and there's the sun. It was so cool sitting there because like the sunset was really slow. But the sunrise was really fast. Like, it was like in a movie where you actually could see the sun coming up. It was moving like that fast. It was crazy. You see the sunrise coming up over the horizon. Uh, this giant barge came by while we were standing there. That was pretty neat. And yeah, sunrise. Well, that was our cat friend. This obviously popped in too. We were sitting outside the Harris Teeter waiting on her family to pick us up. This giant ass cat. This cat was like like this freaking big. He was huge. And he loved us. He came up and was like, we were petting him. And he was climbing up on top of us and on our table. He had a collar with a bell and a name tag. And it was like, hi, I'm Pratt. <laughs> like Chris Pratt, but just Pratt. And it was like, I live at True Value whatever, which was like right across the street from where we were at. So we realized he wasn't a homeless kitty, but he was really friendly. This is another one of the room. That's at the end of the bed. There's the TV and some ugly ass wall art. And that's the little desk. That's where uh, you can sit. I play. I played a little bit of uh, RimWorld right there. That's right. Only for about like five minutes, but still. Yeah, while well, Crystal was getting ready. And they had this water here. And last time they told us don't drink that water because they'll charge you for it. But then we realized that because we are upgraded in our loyalty status, that that water was actually free. But we didn't drink it because we didn't think it was free. <laughs> it was after we got off the ship she was looking at the loyalty rewards. Because they emailed her about it. And it was like, you get free one liter waters in your room. And we're like, oh shit, those were for us. That's obviously why when I told him he could take them, he said, he said oh, you might want them. I thought he was trying to get us to buy them. But obviously he was thinking, well, they're free. So this is the candy shop. The candy shop was awesome. Candy shop had tons of candy. And we bought some candy. We got all kinds of candy. I don't even know. Do you have, did you have any close-up pictures of the candy or was that in? They had like every kind of candy you could imagine. They had like chocolate-covered gummy bears. They had gummy worms, sour gummy worms. They had gummy funnels. They had like gummy sand sharks. I mean, you name it. They had like chocolate covered raisins, dark chocolate covered raisins, chocolate covered peanuts, um, all your name brand candies, your Andy's mints and Reese's and Reese's pieces and Tootsie Rolls and just like any kind of candy you can imagine. And they just, you get however much you want and they just weigh it by the pound or the, it's actually about like the half pound. <clears throat> so we, we got some candy a few times because we like candy. It's good. Yeah, like all kinds of gummy stuff. And that was a picture. And on the TV, you can go to a channel that always shows like where you're at, um, the sea depth, sunrise and sunset at your current position, your speed and all that stuff. So this is a picture after we had left Nassau and we're heading towards Princess K. Uh, what's this? Is this was this your all oh, those your ribs? This was Crystal's ribs. She said they were delicious, fall off the bone ribs. You can see my prime rib in the background there. Oh, 
Oh, that's a Bahamas license plate on their Nissan. It's another one of the Atrium. Well, that's the candy. That's one bag of candy that we got. See, like, there's like some some gummy. Oh, those were the bubble gum gummies. And then there's like some Jelly Bellies, chocolate covered gummy bears, a gummy banana, some Reese's pieces, or Reese's cups. Yeah, the gummy banana was good too. It's loading so slow, not that there's extra stuff in here. Now I gotta still keep finding out what's new and what's not. It was cool. Uh, oh yeah, this one. <laughs> so we they had a movie night, right? And they had like it was Dunkirk and then Wonder Woman, like back to back to go. So like or no, yeah. So we go there for Wonder Woman. We're like, okay, we'll go watch Wonder Woman. We'll hang out. You know, there wasn't anything else going on at the time. We get in there, and they're setting stuff up. And they put this shit on DVD. We're like, you know, we're on the Section Eight cruise when they can't even spring for the Blu-ray. They got us in here watching a damn DVD. <laughs> like, come on, really? And it was shaking the whole time. Like they couldn't even invest in a stabilizer for the for the uh yeah for the damn projector the whole time it was sitting there like this just like like it was having a seizure or something we watched maybe like a half hour 45 minutes and yeah we left like damn man they're really cheap I open this one? I don't think I open this one. I, oh, that was another side of the candy shop. Yeah, that was the other side of the candy. They had like a bunch of prepackaged stuff, but it was really expensive. And some other souvenirs, and you could buy like cakes and stuff if you wanted. Uh, I think that's it. But yeah, um, no, it was a lot of fun, man. I, the next time we go, there's a couple things that I want to do, and it may not be for a very long time, but for one, um, well, we won't be able to go on the ship again because they're moving it away from Charleston, and they're going to apparently retire it soon. So that's probably our last time ever going on this ship. Yeah, they're moving the Sunshine, the Carnival Sunshine, to Charleston, which is... Like the next class up from ours. Ours holds just over 2,000 guests. And the Sunshine holds over 3,000. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, that'll probably be the last time on that ship. Um, one thing is I really, really want to try to save up and get the unlimited drink package. Because if you get that one, you get like. 15 alcoholic drinks a day, which, I mean, 15 drinks, and this is per person, 15 drinks per person per day. That's a lot of day. Like, you would have to really try to drink 15 alcoholic drinks in one day, unless you're drinking, like, beer, and you can just go through it. But you're talking, like, cocktail, because they make their drinks so strong, especially the one we get in the comedy club. It's, like, really strong. Yeah, fuck that water and lemonade. <laughs> That's like all there is for free is water and lemonade and some nasty ass tea. But uh, if you get the drink package, you get 15 alcoholic drinks per person per day. But then everything else is free. Like, you know, soda, your Coke, Sprite, your know, root beer, all that stuff is included. Uh, the specialty coffees, like the coffees that we had that I showed you guys, the and those are cheap normally. They're only like three bucks a piece, but still, it would be nice for them to be free. Um, but they're included. Um, milkshakes are included. Like pretty much every other kind of drink is included for free. So, 
the main thing is the alcoholic drinks because the alcoholic drinks cost anywhere from like eight to 12 bucks per drink. So, I mean, that's a lot of money. When we got drinks for the two of us, it was like, you know, 20 something dollars. And that's a lot of money, which is why we only got drinks a couple times. <laughs> and that, yeah, and that was thanks to her brother and his wife giving us some, some spending money before we left. <clears throat> Yeah, they forced us to take because they want us to, you know, make sure we had a good time. But uh, and King, obviously, King's twenty bucks paid for us each to have a drink. <laughs> so, um, if but if we have the drink package, we wouldn't have to worry about that. We could have a drink whenever we wanted a drink. So I would like to do that next time. Yeah, I just got coffee the one time. Uh, should I charge that much just to push you to buy the drink package? Well, it's half and half. Like the drinks are not any more than you would pay if you went to like a bar and got a drink. I mean, you know, most drinks at a bar are, you know, for a mixed drink, you're looking at eight to 12 bucks too. Um, but what the reason why they do it that way is because that's where they make the most of their money. They don't actually make that much money off the tickets themselves, like the, you know, because what they pay out in the free food and all that stuff, they don't make a lot off the tickets. They make most of their money off of the casino and the alcohol because people gamble a ton when they're on the ship and then with the drinks because, like she said, the drinks are super strong. And there, it's when you first think about it, you're like, oh, that's awesome. You know, they're putting extra alcohol in the drink. You can get a buzz off of one drink. But, if you think about it, they do that for a reason because then you keep getting more drinks because you get a little buzz. Like, oh yeah, I'll get, I'll go ahead and get another drink. And then once you start kind of getting drunk, then you know you keep keep buying drinks. And then you're before you know it, you're. I've literally seen people online on the 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 cruise forums talk about how by the time they got off the ship, they'd have like a two thousand dollar bill from all the alcohol they drank, like. I mean, it's crazy. And see, the drink package, it, the the price varies depending on your trip. It's like so much money per person per day. So it's not cheap. Like, it ends up being, um, how much did I say it would have been for us if we had gotten it? Yeah, it would end up being like over 500 bucks for us to get the drink package for the two of us. But if you think about it, five drinks at $10 a piece is $50, okay? If we each have five drinks, that's $100. Well, the limit is 15 drinks per person. So if you say, if, if we both drank five drinks per day per person over the course of the trip, that would basically run even just at five drinks. So if you go over that and you drink six drinks, seven drinks, you know, up to 15 drinks, you come out ahead. And then plus you've got the extra, all the extra drinks, all the soda, which is, you know, not expensive. It's only like two bucks for a can of soda, but that all adds up. Yeah. If you think about on land, you can get a whole case for four bucks, paying two bucks for one can. It adds up fast. You can have as much as you want. The coffee yeah, it's only like three bucks if you buy it, but it's included for free in that package, so you can have coffee whenever you want it. Same thing with everything else. So it comes down to if you can afford the drink package, it's definitely more than worth it, but it is a fair amount of money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we we knew that we couldn't keep going, so... Yeah, you know, but it was still good. Most of the drinks were nice to have just because they tasted good. Yeah, we were going to bring some with us, but we totally forgot. And, uh, we thought about stopping on the way there, but we didn't want to make everybody stop just so we could go and buy a case of Pepsi or something, you know. So we just made do. We drank a hell of a lot of ice water. <laughs> and lemonade and juice but mostly water
But yeah, so next time, I definitely want to save up and get the drink package. Just for one, because granted, obviously, we didn't spend that much this time in alcohol. But if we had the drink package, I would have drank, we both would have drank a lot more than what we did. And we would have made it worth it. So next time, I want to get it. And almost every single person that I was at in the bar had that drink package. Like, because, you know, when you when you buy your drink, it has the price. But if you have the package, it shows up as, you know, zero dollars. So almost everybody I was behind in line at the bar always had the drink package. So obviously it's definitely worth worth getting. Uh, just price your cruise for next year. Uh, $630 per person for what? You want to get high? For the tickets or what? Raven, what's up, dude? Knew how to play the system. Yeah. <laughs> how you doing, Raven? Good to see you, man. I know the price of the drink package went up. Like, I actually think it went up at the first of this year. It went up in price. So everyone was saying, if you're going to get it, get it. You know, because you could pre-order it. They said get it before the first of the year, but <clears throat> the prices of the tickets varies a lot depending on if you're getting like a discount. Yeah. Like as soon as we got the ship, we both got emails for like 20% off our next cruise for, you know, they're like, Hey, you know, glad to have you, you know, we were glad to have you and happy to have you home and this and that. You know, save 20% on your next cruise. Um, depending on when you book, they are always running sales. And depending on what time of year you book is also the big thing. Like, yeah, our exact same cruise for this time of the year during the summer costs like six, seven, eight hundred dollars a person because it's just the season, you know? <clears throat> yeah. Holidays like Christmas, New Year's, things like that, spring break, um, and then the summertime in general are always super expensive. The only couple times of the year when it's really, really cheap is like this time of year, January, February, not Valentine's Day, and hurricane season because a lot of people don't want to cruise during hurricane season. <laughs> yeah. You end up staying on the boat because they can't dock. But, uh, so, I mean, you can get it, like Crystal said, we've seen ones as cheap as, you know, less than $100 per person because you'll get, like, last-minute deals and, you know, all this other stuff. It also depends on the length of the cruise. You know, a three-day cruise is going to be a hell of a lot cheaper than a five-day or a seven-day cruise, which... That was one of the other things I was going to say for the next cruise. I'd really like to do a seven day the next time if we can afford it. Huh. I think seven days would be fun. I don't know. <clears throat> it depends on where you're going and what you're doing. Like most of the Alaskan cruises are all like between seven and 14 days. Crystal's like, fuck that. I can't handle being around you that long. <clears throat> but uh, anyways, guys, I am probably going to go ahead and go. Huh? But uh, I was planning on just doing like a little short stream, maybe on like an hour or so. And it's actually been two and a half hours already. So <laughs> we got to talking and things got out of hand. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys had fun. I hope uh, hope you enjoyed all the, the stories and the pictures and all that good stuff. Just just looking. it's It's a lot of fun, man. 
I always tell everybody that it's not it's not for everybody. Not everybody's going to enjoy it, but uh we really enjoyed it. Definitely wait for a sale. Yeah, for sure. You can get some great deals if you just uh just watch out for them. But uh anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. Try to get some rest. We'll be back um, tomorrow. If if we come across any more, or if she gets any more like videos or pictures or anything uploaded, we will definitely check them out tomorrow um, before we play some games. And then, wish I could have been here from the beginning. Well, you can always watch the uh, the VOD, man. You can go watch the broadcast from the beginning. If anybody missed anything, you know, it'll be there for you guys if you want, if you care to hear all the stories and see everything. But uh, thank you guys for being here. I missed you guys. Glad to be back and uh, hanging out with everybody. And definitely looking forward to getting back into the swing of things as far as streaming and everything. So we'll, uh, we'll be back tomorrow night. We'll chat some more play some games and have some fun. So hope you guys all have a great night and we will see you all tomorrow. Peace.